Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Sorry I had to put the one of the more unpleasant missions in two parts. Uh, my bad on the planning wise front side of things. Blah. Sorry I'm editing these rapidly before I leave for work for eight days. So hopefully uh, everything's coming together like it should. Um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, the video will start in a moment. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is not good. Okay, good. Score to hit. Ooh, nice. Are they dead? I think they're dead. You're done! <laughs> Did he just say you're done? Neural decay doesn't quite cover the reality of it. Mm -hmm. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sorry, but if you were expecting me to do this mission without a rant, like, you are not, you're in the wrong place. And maybe it makes you uncomfortable. And, like, maybe that's something you should Strip look at. <laughs> Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. This mission makes me uncomfortable, and I'm still trying. You know, I'm still doing. Is that it. a settlement? <laughs> they better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. <sighs> they have the same uniform as our attackers. Definitely not as aggressive, though. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. Possibly. But the female on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. These were all like incredibly intelligent women. Who were very successful in like probably chemistry, biology, maybe psychology, all engineering, any number of things, and this is what they've been worn down to. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Yeah. It's an idol. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He keeps us, protects us, mm. and we please him like he demands. This... That is so pretty. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. It, freaking, you, you, I'm just gonna, he just basically, he uses this as an excuse to like get the women to do what he wants. That's what he does. Like, uh, your captain demands. Like, I am. I'm so angry. You can't. Like, there's no way to, like, go around pretending this is, uh. Oh, I missed. Sorry, I missed what, I missed what Thing was saying. We heard her voice on the Thing. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. 
Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. This legitimately makes me like tear up with anger. It's so frustrating. Like why these sorts of things would 100% happen. Like it's not just a theoretical. This would happen. And it's just, it's garbage. It's absolutely disgusting. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard, I don't see any justification. When I first played, I was like, oh, maybe there is some sort of justification. There freaking isn't. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. The initial decision made sense, but like I think the whole time he basically had this planned where like he could just have women as like a harem and like use them as he pleased, even though they're basically childlike, which is like another thing that's like super mega horrible and garbage about this is like they they can't say no. <sighs> we haven't seen any other officers. He killed them. There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Yeah. The post corpse looks like it's been here years. Like a warning. These others, maybe a month. The hunters started fighting back. I just want to throw him off a cliff. He keeps talking like we haven't figured out what's going on. Yeah. I need to make sure I don't miss anything yet. I'm sorry, I really don't like this mission. It, I, it needs to be done. But, oh, please, go on. Blech. I've also heard, um, and I can't 100% speak for this, um, like in my own personal experience, but, um, don't even talk to me. Um, there's a lot of people who were really upset that it's like the one like black guy who is the one who turns into like this absolute monster um and there's an argument in the next game because jacob does something that's like only if you romance him is it an issue um but it's something that again seems to almost kind of fall into like like a really like not kind stereotype about black men and so it's just i don't know it's like really just like, like this could, obviously anybody could do this and like you don't need to like impact what is it is it still talking um like obviously people of like any gender race whatever can be villains and like that's totally a thing like you don't need to like baby it or anything you know um but it's also just i just i just know that there were some people who took issue with that at the time 
were unhappy that like the most monstrous of men in this game really <laughs> is is a black man so you'd have to maybe talk to other people Wrong about people it or look away. it up online this thing is not my father like um to see like a more nuanced discussion i just feel like i should mention it oh i forgot about that thing in the eye and hear him justify this the guy died and was like I just want to go home or so we can go home they needed to defeat us <sighs> shut up I don't know I think I usually deal I usually deal with him paragon but the older I get the less inclined I am to do that we'll have to see See how I feel about it when I get up there. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? Yeah. You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. Perks. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy. That's a good way to put I it. I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good oh, idea. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> of course it didn't. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. 
but I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You could s you fought over people like they were toys. Things. Yeah, the fact that they like assigned the women out to the officers. There's nothing. There's nothing you can say to salvage this. You know what I mean? The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. This is all like really good points that Jacob is making, honestly. Where it's like, if you treat people like they're nothing, they'll think they're nothing. If you treat someone like an animal, like not always, right? Like people can't overcome that, but like it's not a surprise where if you treat somebody like they're trash, like they will, if you treat someone like they're a criminal, they'll act, they'll maybe eventually start acting like a criminal. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's solid psychology and it's just so dumb that this guy just freaking. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. A part of me really wants him to just, like, get his comeuppance from these people that he hurt. Um, but another part of me is, like, you know, the law will hopefully you know, ostensibly punish him. I don't know if, I don't know, he'll probably, I mean, he'll still be alive and like, he won't necessarily be suffering, but like, he'll have to live with this decision. I don't know. It doesn't really seem fair sometimes, right? Like so many people died and suffered for him and he's just gonna like sit in a box for the rest of his life. But like, I don't know. I, and part of me is like, I don't think my shepherd would necessarily because I wouldn't mind leaving him here because I know if you leave him here um, they'll the people behind us will kill him um, and this one Jacob leaves him a, like a pistol with only like one shot in it um, for himself for 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 the dad and this is almost like I think more of a conclusion for Jacob too. Like, I don't know, I don't like necessarily doing the harsh justices because it can really affect the good people that you're with, like your good, like the, the friends, your companions, it can affect them adversely. I would think it would. Sometimes in games it does, like I know if you let Fenris kill his sister in Dragon Age 2, like it, it kind of messes with him, honestly, and he regrets it, um, which I learned, unfortunately, the hard way at one point. Um, so sometimes, like, the whole, like, revenge thing doesn't actually, it's not very satisfying in the end. You know, it doesn't really make the person feel better. Kind of like Thane. Like, he didn't really feel any better after he murdered the people who killed his wife. I think it needed to be done. Doesn't necessarily mean that, like, getting their blood on his hands was good for him either, you know? So, I'll probably... And also with this one, the big thing is that, because if we did it with this way or this way, um, this story would potentially not get out, you know? We, we would just keep it like under wraps, like with ourselves, essentially. Like we would know what happened and um, nobody else would. But these people, like for one thing, the women and the men that are left deserve to get the help that they need. I don't want to just leave them here, which I think we would, pick, we would take them anyway. Um, but I want them to get the help they need. 
and I want them to be able to have closure for hopefully a trial, and I want their story to be known, right? And I want his transgressions to be known and broadcast across the world, like the galaxy. And this seems, the lawful way, seems like the most appropriate way of doing that. And once again, I'm basically just talking off a video essay, which I do frequently, so... I don't necessarily have to justify my <laughs> my actions, I think, in these games, but I enjoy doing so. I like to do my thought process. So anyway... I don't know, and I feel like I'm leaning towards this one because my ship would do this. I think she's very paragon. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. No, you didn't. I'm ten years past believing that. See, you could let them kill him. Yep, they're being treated by Alliance personnel with additional Cerberus support. Oh, how's that working out? Taylor unharmed psychologically. Jacob Taylor is up with his father and is now focused. Anyway. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. You don't ever smile. <laughs> Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know this situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. I don't know. I always thought they would get along well together. They have a chemistry, <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe she probably needs not necessarily a better man, but maybe a man who... I think Jacob's too... He's not too used to taking her orders, but he does... Generally, Miranda's the one in charge, and he's technically her subordinate in most things. So, potentially... She would need someone more on, like, equal footing with her. She's a very forceful personality, and Jacob's pretty laid back. I mean, he has his times. Like, he has his moments, but, like, he's pretty laid back. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. He is an attractive man. And he's a good man. I do like Jacob. I just feel like he gets the short end of the stick, oftentimes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. I've been recording hour-long episodes lately, and hope probably having to split them in half, or just edit them a lot, so. Anyway, thank you all for joining me again. I'm, hmm. I was gonna say I'm sorry for the rant, but I'm not necessarily sorry. So I realized that was a rough mission, and I realized I got heated about it. I'm not sorry about that, by any means. Um, but if anyone's ever, you know, if anyone's having any troubles with any sort of, like, abuse or, like, manipulation tactics like this, please seek help from, like, 
shoot, I'll put I'll put some maybe I'll put some resources in the what do you call it the description of the video but like you can seek help from like authorized professionals please get help for those of you that were like potentially like uncomfortable or like but like in a way that it's like you know I don't know what I'm trying to say with that one but like if you if you have questions about this sort of a thing I'm not necessarily the person to ask but you can like do your own research and stuff online like specifically dudes women aren't out here to like make your life hell we just want to do we just want to live our own lives you know and like the intersection between men and women doesn't need to be fraught with like anger or frustration you know and you know this is it's sort of simplified you know because there's always just going to be like people or people right but like yeah i hope that anybody watching this can see like how terrible this was and like can try to watch for like things that maybe would lead up to situations like this in others in their lives or even in themselves and know when to like you know like get help or like figure it out you know and not do that so anyway maybe i'm talking too much i usually do so thank you all for watching i appreciate it uh as always i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially reese galito my sapling tier patron and christopher my tree tier patron thank you so so much for your support thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in the next one